Welcome to your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Be sure to check out your exclusive discount offer at the end of your free lesson. Macros are small programs that record your keystrokes as you perform a task, and then saves the actions you performed as a Visual Basic module, which is a type of program file. When you run the macro later, it will repeat your keystrokes, thus repeating your actions. This is why they are great for automating repetitive tasks. For example, pretend you wanted to place your name and your company information in the upper left cell of a worksheet. You could use a macro to record your keystrokes as you create it once, and then run the macro in the future. It would repeat the exact same keystrokes that you entered, effectively repeating the process instantaneously. While you can see advanced options for creating macros on the Developer tab in the ribbon if it is enabled, you can also use the Macros group on the View tab in the ribbon to record and play back basic macros that you record. In this lesson, we will examine how to record a basic macro using the commands found within this group in the ribbon. To begin to record a macro, you can click the Macros button in the Macros group on the View tab in the ribbon. From the drop-down menu that appears, select the Record Macro command. This will open the Record Macro dialog box. In the Record New Macro dialog box, enter a name for your new macro in the Macro Name text box. Note that macro names cannot contain spaces. Next, select the name of the workbook to which you want to attach the macro by selecting its name from the Store Macro in drop-down. If you do not change it, it will default to saving the macro into the current workbook. This is important only because a macro can only be run if it is attached to an open workbook or stored in the personal macro workbook, which we will discuss later. You can also create a custom keyboard shortcut to use in conjunction with the control key by typing the desired shortcut key letter into the text box next to the control plus. If you decide to do this, make sure that you don't overwrite an existing shortcut. For example, the shortcut character of P would be a bad choice, as Control P is already a keyboard shortcut for the print command. If you aren't familiar with the keyboard shortcuts, then it may, may be better if you don't assign one. When you're ready to start recording your actions, just click OK. While recording your macro, you cannot use your mouse very much, and you should minimize your mouse movements during the recording. Instead, try to use the keyboard as much as possible. Once you've finished recording your macro, you can click the Macros button in the Macros group on the View tab in the ribbon. You can then select the Stop Recording command in order to stop recording the macro. Now, unlike macros in the other Microsoft Office programs, in Excel, the types of cell references that you make while recording a macro can be adjusted. For example, assume that when you began recording your macro, your active cell was A1. Let's say from there you clicked into D1. When Excel records you doing that, it can either record that action as a relative reference or an absolute reference. That action, if recorded using relative references, would make the active cell move four cells to the right of whatever cell it was in when you started the playback of the macro. If you record it in absolute terms, then it will always move to cell D1 from wherever you start playing back your macro. Now you can adjust the types of referencing used when recording a macro by clicking the Macros button in the Macros group and then selecting Use Relative References. By default, Excel macros will use absolute references, but you can click this button to switch to relative cell referencing during your macro. You can click it again to switch back to absolute referencing when needed during or after recording. Also remember that if you want to save a workbook that contains macros in Excel 2007, you need to select the Excel Macro Enabled Workbook choice from the side menu of choices that appears when you roll your mouse pointer over the Save As command after clicking the Microsoft Office button. So we'll look at that in a second. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Like what you see? 
Pick up your copy of our complete tutorial today and be sure to visit us at www.teachucomp.com slash YouTube for your special bonus offer. Our complete tutorial featuring introductory through advanced material is available on CD-ROM or digital download. You will receive our high quality video lessons plus printable instruction manuals in one easy to use training package. With over two dozen titles to choose from, you'll be sure to find the training you need in Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, Photoshop, and much more. Visit us today!